Anyway, we just completed everything required uh, for this section of the game in, in one in-game day. So, now... We just do dungeon stuff? I mean, we could do all sorts of things. We could grind rupees. We could dance with a scarecrow. Do all sorts of things. Go shopping. Uh, we could, I wonder if any shops will actually sell a Deku Sprout. I don't know. Let's check it out. Wait, are, are all the people in this town racist? Well, yes, generally. <laughs> like, this guy won't let us through because we're a Deku Scrub. They don't they don't allow scrubs to participate in their games. Oh. Leko just gave me that look. Anyway, there are shops uh, in this area here. We can see if they'll sell us anything. That's the bomb shop. We can't actually use bombs as a Deku Scrub, but let's check it out anyway. What's up, bro? So we got bombs, got bomb shoe, and we have a bomb bag. Bomb shoe? Yeah, bomb shoe are actually pretty cool. Or you can kick bombs around? Um, bomb shoe basically go in a straight line up walls um, and up around ceilings. Oh god, that's creepy. And this Goron sells powder kegs, which are so huge that no mere human can use them. They're just too heavy. It's like that Pokemon Hypno. How? What if it was human. I, I don't see the connection. Oh, it's kind of weird, isn't it? This guy's a itchy back. <laughs> so yeah, this guy will not sell us anything because he's a dick. But, hey, Scarecrow, what's up? Hey, baby, let's dance! Moogly moogly moogly. Well, let's dance. And for whatever reason, this is the, uh, the Lost Woods theme from Every Enough Time. I mean, I never really liked this song. Yeah. I mean, it, it might be sort of callback to Ocarina of Time when Darunia loved to dance to this song. Sure, let's dance the night away. Wait, do we literally have nothing else to do right now? Uh, we could go out and grind rupees, but there's nothing practical other than that that we can do until the carnival uh, opens up the door. Hey, where's the crow? So let's dance till night. <laughs> dance, dance, sideways motion. <laughs> so the the other way to kind of skip forward through time um, is to listen to this boring grandma tell stories. The char your character will fall asleep, and it, it'll be like the next day. Could be cool. Anyway, now that we are so far along in time, he will not dance with us anymore. And we have six hours uh, until the carnival opens up the place. Alright, man. Let's get there. And unfortunately for people who, who are familiar with the game, it's always kind of dull standing up there waiting. Oh, actually, I forgot. Uh, let's deposit these 13 rupees into the bank. Oh, man, this is intense. Oh, yeah. No, no. Hey, bro. Economics. <laughs> Dude, he's so excited. Oh, yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, man, yeah, man, I can do banking, yeah. So the funny thing is, uh, this banker, you know, Korean of Time, was originally a beggar. 
Like, he was uh, in Beggar. Hyrule Castle Town, and he was a hobo asking for money. Beggar turned banker. Mm-hmm. He was a successful man. But of course, this is like a parallel of the universe, so... And... Now, over here... We're on this uh, on this platform, and we're gonna wait for the for the moon to fall. Oh my moon! You've gotten oh, yeah. closer. <laughs> Say cheese. Anyway, I guess I'll grab this. They they operate the same way they always have. Hello, Tal. <laughs> All right, time for the carnival. Let's do this. Ding, 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 ding. I like how n no one's worried about this moon. Oh, well, it, a lot of people are worried, actually. Oh. Most of the town is evacuated. <laughs> oh, okay. Except that banker, man. Yeah. Actually, there are a couple cool dudes um, in, in this little uh, after midnight section. You can poke around a couple people are hanging around and just totally freaking out. <laughs> uh, and it's actually some of the more uh, moving stuff in the game. Go, go, go. You only have five minutes to do this. No, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show off these these people freaking out, actually. Because I have, I have time. And I don't know if I'll ever have a good opportunity otherwise. Two people that I remember are the postman and the swordmaster. So this guy's having an existential crisis. But not written on this schedule. You can't fulfill the schedule if you die, bro. I must <laughs> deliver the mail. Uh, but this is the schedule, actually. Um, and you can you can read this. He's pretty free, actually. But yeah, you can you can read that uh, and figure out where he will be at any given time if you're smart. I'm not. And then other oh, is the swordmaster dude. Uh, once you have a sword, you can come you here can and come learn, learn the art. Oh, and I think I need a sword to access him. Um, but he, he's hiding back there, behind that sign. And he's like, "Oh God, this is so unmanly," but I'm terrified. And the soldiers. Oh no. <laughs> you better wait here in yeah. Diamond. <laughs> uh, if you're an adult, um, or a, a human rather, uh, they will be looking up to the sky and kind of praying for not dying. Pray to the god of not doomed. Yeah. But the, the, the citizens are definitely freaking out. Do not be mistaken. Anyway, oh, I wasted enough out. time. Let's get up here and confront the final boss. What's up? Hey, our precious thing. Yeah, what if he did that? What then, huh? Huh? <laughs> what a douche. Yeah, he's kind of a douche. But it's not his fault. You, see, you think the moon is happy about this? What about a skull just like screaming at him? Yeah, and like sending him down to to Earth. Yeah, I'd imagine the moon be pretty pissed. Yeah. I'd be annoyed if someone's like, hey man, there was a planet in front of you, you should totally crash. So we now have five minutes 
to to do to, to get our instrument back. So if you really, really have bad aim, this could take you five minutes. This is intense. Oh yeah. Now, can you actually play that? Uh, well, you'll see. It's a little difficult for a Deku Scrub to play the ocarina just by the way his mouth works. Yeah. Um... Right now we got a flashback, sorry. A flashback to something that never happened, just FYI. Unless... Oh god, my... I'm going cross-eyed. But basically, here in this flashback, which occurs after Ocarina of Time, she teaches you a song that you learned in Ocarina of Time, but because of the time reset in Ocarina of Time, you might have learned it uh, at a point later than what you reset. Does that make sense? No. Okay. So, you meet her at point A, you learn the song at point B, you reset at the end of Ocarina of Time to point A, so you never actually learned this song, but you learned it in the, in the game. Mm. But anyway, this is the Song of Time. Which, um, like, caused certain doors to open and certain blocks to appear and disappear in Ocarina of Time. Now it has a completely different function. Hey man, it's magic, don't argue. It is magic. Alright, so... Did she say, Goddess of Time, we need more time? Yes. And we're about to get more time. Why are you green? Anyway, yeah, Ocarina, not happening. <laughs> you don't know about what? <laughs> I like this. So, the thing about the Goddess of Time, nobody, like, knows exactly who that's supposed to be. Um... So a lot of people think it's a fourth goddess, and she represents the open center triangle in the Triforce. It's a little dumb. Wait, so you just go back to the first day? So yes, this is the true mechanic of Majora's Mask. 